Hey everyone, as we just released version 2025, let me show you probably the most exciting feature of 2025, mm. which is Python recording. So Python recording has been introduced for HyperMesh client in order to help to author your different scripts. So let's have a look at how it works. First, you need to activate the developer ribbon. Uh, if you do not see it at first glance, you need to right click on the top bar and search for developer and check this one. Doing so, you will have two buttons, tasks, uh, it's for uh, combining multiple tasks or scripts together into a workflow and you have the recording. So if you hit the recording, you will have this start recording at the bottom that you can start as soon as you want to record your steps and get the corresponding um, code. So this is something which is really different from the previous implementation command the TCL because we recorded everything, um, which could in some cases cause some performance issues. And also uh, it requires a little bit of time to understand where was the starting point and where was the end point in the command of TCL. So now uh, let's run for a quick demo. And it says that I want to create a load step. So I will create a new load step and I will create a load collector uh, for constraints. So I will go analyze constraints, validate, create. And now coming in again to the load step, I will add the load. Same, let me take the force here. Uh, I will select these nodes, validate. I will have a magnitude of 120. Create, close. And here I have a load step, which is done. And I could go up to the export if I want, but let me stop the recording here. The first thing that you get once you hit stop recording is this pop-up where you have several columns and two tabs. Let's look at the recorded functions. You have the name of the different steps, the argument for the different steps. Uh, so for instance, you could have the entity creation. Uh, so we created the first load step, which uh, the argument is the name of the load step. The type of this argument is a string and the value here was load step one. Uh, same if we go further to create a curve, we will see that there's the magnitude, which is for component three, and which is a floating value. So you have already these first pieces of information. Uh, please note that you have some options for the output settings. Uh, you can push this to the Python console at the bottom as soon as you showed it from the view drop down menu or to a Python file. And you have some couple of extra options which are deactivated by default. Uh, feel free to look at the, the different ones. You can show the equivalent TCL commands, include all functions, append collections, etc., etc. Now, one thing I'm very interested in is, second tab, I could add a parameter, let's say, load step name. And I will say that this one is a string and here I will define the name between double quotes. If you do not set the double quotes, you will get an error. So you need the double quotes and I will say uh, pending as it is a string here. Uh, then I need, uh, I will define another value, which is float, which is my magnitude. And I will set it to 200 for instance like that now if I come back to the recorded function and obviously the type here has to match the type of the parameter you want to define so the first one was the name that I wanted it was a string so this is the way I need to do and you saw that there are multiple uh, types available now I can reach on back as for the root step name as for the magnitude here and you see that only the parameters that match the type of interest are exposed and you can hit generate in that case 
you have the code that appears at the bottom. So let me expand a little bit the window. Let me just copy this code. Once I copy it, let me reload a, um, a complete model. Based. So what you see is that you have uh, the import modules, then you have the definition of a function, which is called run. So here what you're doing is uh, initializing this run, so nothing is done yet, but then you can run with your argument. So I could call it venting2 if I want, still between double quotes, sorry, and uh, one Enter. And here you see that I have a new load step, which is a fully called bending to. And if I go to my load forces, I could look at my different forces, and the magnitude is 155. So this is really the first uh, way you can use the Python uh, recorder. Uh, it will significantly uh, fasten your adoption about Python. Now let me show you a second use case, uh, which is as nice and as interesting as this one. So let me clear again, and let me hit start recording. And now what I will do is go to file, load, script. And what I will do now is take one of my existing hypermesh scripts. So, and this script is creating one set per washer. Um, so let me take this one and select the features. So here I have features in my model. Validate. It creates two sets in the model. Um, if I stop the recording, you see that I got some code generated. So this code is not ready to be used as is. Uh, what is happening is that um, the Python recorder is recording in a flat way all the steps which means all the loops all the if else statements or any conditional statements are not considered but what you get and which is probably the most important at the beginning is the basic structure of your code so that you can use it as a starting point to start uh, completing your code into python so here are some of the great capabilities of python recorder with 2025 version. Hope you will enter it and feel free to share any feedback regarding the tool. See you.